Hello everybody and welcome to a Division C West game between Tickle Me Tassadar and the Virtual Murky Slayers. Alakai, why don't you take us through Tickle Me Tassadar here in blue. On the blue side we have Tickle Me Tassadar with BLK21996 on Stukov, Bayonetta on Cassia, Shiva on Liebing, Ceridian on Artanis, and Old Pro on Stitches. And for Virtual Murky Slayers, we have Fake News Nate on Jaina, we have Seabrisket on White Mane, we got a Brew or Two on Anubarak, Silver King on Arthas, and Swagneros on Greymane. Wow, this is really interesting. It looks like they're going to be having five people bottom for the Virtual Murky Slayers. What do you think about that, Alakite? Uh, I mean, if they can get an early pick and rotate back to lane before waves crash, it'll be fine. But if Artana sees this and pushes in, I think they're going to be in trouble here. Seems fair enough. But it looks like Arthas is already headed top. Seems like we're going to have a classic uh, smash in bot lane, except for the fact that uh, Anubarak and Jaina are heading up top for a gank. Oh man, it's the first gank of the game! Land, good CC stacking there. Will he go down? He goes out, and yeah, he does end up falling to them. So good first gank of the game. They don't lose any soak, and they're doing fine bot lane. So good trade for uh, virtual murky slayers there. Yeah, I must say that was a really well played, well timed gank. They got Artanis right before the minions hit the tower there, but it does look like Tickle Me Tassadar has sent stitches up there to soak, so they won't actually lose too much, despite the fact that it was an excellent play. From the virtual murky slayers. Yep, they're gonna send the stitches right back down and be right back where we started. So we'll see if there are any other ganks. Uh, they could also start the camp up sometime soon. We'll see if anyone goes for that early on. But right now they're just trading in lane. Oh, it looks like uh, virtual murky slayers is gonna start the bottom camp. They know that stitches was top just a while ago. He couldn't be down here too fast, so it's gonna be a free camp for them. As it looks like tickle me tassar is not even gonna check this. Definitely seem to be aware of it. Oh, oh no. Going in, he yeah. does land the stun, but no follow-up from anyone else there. It looks like they weren't quite in position to follow up. And they didn't have their main burst Jaina, so they're just gonna clear this wave and get some pressure on bot lane. And this is actually Professor Patrick. Of these two teams, which do you think is gonna have the better chance burning down the immortal when we get to that map mechanic stage ever so quickly here soon? Hmm. I'm gonna have to say... Blue team, probably. Between Lee Ming and Cassia. Fair enough. Well, I'm gonna put my money on the red team, just that gray main has always been ever so good at taking down the immortal. But it'll be exciting to see which team can win the first immortal phase here but before that happens it looks like both teams are going for camps what do you think of this play here allocate uh good timing for both teams looks like they're gonna have yeah actually almost identical timing here on the camp Red or uh virtual murky slayer does grab it a bit early but they're gonna both back up go heal if they need to and go on to the objectives it looks like it looks like we're gonna start off with blue being the first to the immortal uh, and starting to burn it right now. We'll see how much they get before they get pushed off here as it looks like they're gonna be collapsed on uh, Nubarak going in. He does get silence. Grayman going onto the Cassia here. Not getting too much damage as he is blinded They do end up rooting her oh, and she gets what a hook. Saving hooked over the wall. Grayman has to back up now as his team's not there Wow, that was a really great play from old pro there an absolutely massive hook saving Cassia that was, that was really, really Grayman getting play. hooked in. Actually, he might fall here. Oh, Li Ming doesn't quite hit her spells, and they do have to back up now. Looks like they're just going to be playing defense for now. They're sending Sukov up, and I guess Li Ming, I don't know how much they're going to be able to get here. Uh, they're st keeping Stitches and Cassia on the bottom side, so they can be able to disrupt. They're coming back down, so no mortal damage on either side here. Now, this quite is a very, very slow burn phase from the Immortal. I would have thought one of the teams would have hard committed by now. Yeah, do you think it's the right play here, Buddha, for them to be defending this? Uh, I mean, at this point, it's definitely the right play to defend, but I feel like they had the chance to get on the burn faster. 
uh, for Tickle Me Test are there than the virtual Murky Slayers. Uh, I would like That's to see him fair. go to burn now that the virtual Murky Slayers have backed up a bit and are prioritizing the wave. Yeah, I'm not but... sure why they're doing this. They're losing levels and just not getting anything out of it. So right now, it looks like well, virtual Murky Slayers are going to get more and more poke damage here. They did force the blue mortal back. It seems like a weird decision. The new go again. I don't think he's going to get too much here. The rest of his team isn't here to follow up. And he, both teams are just kind of going to disengage. It looks like they might go back onto the burn here. And yeah, this is what they're going to do. We'll see who wins. Red Immortal going down a lot faster. Oh, wow. And I think that blue side, Tickle Me Tasser, is going to come out ahead here. That was a great call from Mr. Dr. Patrick on the blue side winning that burn. And that was very impressive. Figured if they all committed to it, they could probably outburn it. They but definitely that, uh... proved that there. That long defense was a little painful to watch. Yeah, no kidding. But it ended up working out for them. Oh man, every time I see old pro hook now, I expect to see an absolutely <laughs> massive pick throwing it there at the bush. It'll be interesting to see if Blue can capitalize with a wall or any kills here as they push in with the Immortal. Yep, we'll Already down to half health. health, though. Not too much damage from the Immortal here. It looks like it's getting a wall, maybe a tower. And then I think that's basically it. Looks like uh, Tickle Me Tasser is just going to back up here. You know, they're not getting too much. Actually, Anubarak waiting oh. in the wings for Virtual Murky Slayers. Is he going to go in here? He doesn't oh, get the Brawl Strike. In. He's going to go onto the Stukov. Stukov getting a bit low, but he's going to walk out of there just fine. No follow up from Jane or Grayman there. That was a bit usual. But they do back up. Both teams are safe here. And. Uh, Virtual Murky Slayer still does have a bit of a lead, and they're going to be able to get this camp down pretty low before their opponents can do anything about it here. Cassia going into contest. Will they be able to get anything here? She is on the point. Pretty close oh, to it. Anubarak oh, oh. going in. Di burrowing in. Is he going to be able to stun? He does stun on Stukov. Cassia going in. Almost wow, killed Jada. Jada living with her. There's a sliver of health. She does end up dying with the spear. Oh, Li Ming popping oh. off a little bit with the jumps there. Will she kill? Okay, triple Shable. kill. Will we be able to get the Anubrak? Anubrak looks like he's gonna get away, but a triple kill from wow. the Ming there. Great play by uh, Tickle Tassar. Absolutely phenomenal. What did you see in that team fight, MVP, that really turned it in the favor of Blue? Because I thought that the virtual Murky Slayers had that for sure going in. Uh, that Cassia dropped people really fast, despite getting dropped herself a little bit there. And then uh, Li Ming was able to just clean up after that. That was a very excellent fight from Tickle Me Tassadar. I must say, I've been relatively surprised. After their initial interesting choice to play the long defense on the Immortal, they've really shown some spunk in their team fights and their aggressive play. I, I've, I've got to say, I'm, I'm definitely pulling here for Old Pro and his boys going forward in this game. What do you guys think? I, I think, think I can on top of it. Pro, especially with them hooks that he's been pulling out lately. Oh. Right. Fight going on here. Will he get the swap? He does get the swap. Great man into the team, but Stukov and Lee Ming got, er, and Cassie got stunned in the back line. Stukov gonna go down. Will Cassie go, be able to get any value out of this? She's doing some damage, but she does end up getting taken down. Two for one, or two for zero on the side of Virtual Murky Slayers. Lee Ming is getting harassed here. I don't think she should die, but they're gonna be able to burn this immortal if they so choose. Yeah, well, we hitting the there one. was real big. Yeah, that duck was... Yeah. Man, old pro, he, he really gets you going, doesn't he? Well, now that we have tens, like... it looks like we have Ring of Frost, Web Wrap, nothing for Arthas, go for the throat for Grey Mane, and what is that White Mane talent? Divine Reckoning. Divine Reckoning, what does that do for all those people who are still not too well-versed in White Mane? Uh, after one second, consecrate an area for four seconds, dealing damage every half second to all the enemies inside, which will consequently heal any teammates affected Whoa, with the... Big hook. Grayman, hook onto Grayman. Will he go down? Leeming does not come back in. He He's does out. get away though for now. Anubrak buying a lot of space for his team. Bouncing ball almost kills. All oh, this freaking Spear of a Dune goes down. It does end up killing White Mane. Arthas in a bad spot here. He's getting surrounded by a lot of people. Will he go down? He's at 1 HP. Yo! He's actually going to get away. He Incredible! makes it out. The oh. hook is not quite long enough, and he does make it out. Oh, virtual Murky wow. Slayers. Did end up going down a little bit there. The white man barely died from the, uh, what is it? 
purifier beam and the bouncing lightning. Are we already going to have another fight? Oh, pro and Almost. Big. But that is virtual Warrior Slayers, while they barely escape with the skin of their teeth, have gotten a lot more health off of the Immortal. That's being dealt with right now by our Tannis here. Yeah, fight's gonna start. Oh, Grammy does get goodness. instantly killed. A new rack going in. I don't, I'm not sure how much he can do. Jaina does land a decent amount of damage on the Stukov, but it's just not enough. There's no one to follow up here. Cassia going on the back line, not getting too much value though. She Holds may out. go down, she gets web wrap. Rap. Vault Lightning goes out, doesn't end up killing Arthas. A oh, new Rack there to two. 1 HP. Will he fall? Oh, he two. does end up going down. Will Cassia be killed as return? Yes, he is. Arthas a little bit low. Will Stitch be able to finish him off? Not quite, and he is able to go one for one on both wow. sides here. Wow. And during all that, our tennis was beating on the Immortals, so. Tickle Me Tassar are able to get the Immortal, even though it is quite low health here. Truly, these guys have been absolutely impressive in fights. Tickle Me Tassadar just never ceases to impress. That's several back-to-back -back fights where even if they did lose a little bit of health off the Immortal, they managed to absolutely turn it around. Mr. Dr. Patrick, what are these talents that we see taken for the heroics on the side of Tickle Me Tassadar? What have they picked up? Uh, Citrus has taken Putrid Vile. We have Artanis with Purifier Beam. We mean taking Wave of Force, Cassia taking Ball Lightning, and Stukov taking a Massive Shove. It's very interesting with a Massive Shove pick. What do you think that one's going to be used for in these fights? Think he has a priority target in mind, or is that just kind of a feel thing? <sighs> I mean, I would imagine that they would push out a... Oh, oh, Whiteman getting hooked in here, actually. Will she be able to go down? No, she gets a little bit of movement speed. Cassie doing a lot of Three. damage. Rick and Frost going at the back line. The back line not able Three to follow two. up here. Stitch is getting web wrapped. Oh, Cassie the on the Grey side, Man. getting taken down pretty low by the Jaina and Greymane. And she does end up going down. Greymane trying to get out of there now, a though. Turn? Are they going for a turn? Going a there. Oh, oh Nubrak has a great burrow there. Sukov might go down here. He's at 1 HP. He does end up going down. Grayman a little bit low. Will Lee Ming be able to clean him up? She's looking for it. Oh, she out of Lee position. She does end up backing up, though. Oh, she I don't it. think she wanted to commit too Ooh, hard. She might have been able bro. to get the white man and Grayman there, though, if she really wanted to. But it does end up in a 2 for or two for 0 in favor of virtual Murky Slayers there. Incredible. Wow. Wow, what a turn for virtual Murky Slayers. You know, why don't you break down that team fight for us again, MDP? Sure. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot happening. I uh, was kind of very just taken aback by everything and really not paying attention, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the hook looked, it looked really good for uh, Tickle Me Tasser in the beginning. The hook went onto the priority target. They got her down pretty low, but she was able to full heal the full. And in the meanwhile, Greymane was just beating on the Cassia. He was able to turn the fight, uh, and then the, after that, Anubrak got a great burrow charge on the Stuka, and they were able to take him down. Uh, looks Phenomenal. like we're going into a mortal phase here. Once again, it looks like the virtual Murky Slayers are off to the races. They're going straight to Burnside, clearing the camp. So far, they've been the faster team to get to the immortal phase aggressively every time but they haven't seemed to make it count for them but maybe oh, this has changed a new rack going in uh no one getting hit oh, by the ring of frost ring. there jana getting pretty low she doesn't have too much left now a new rack getting a bit low he yeah, oh the miss white main got shoved wow, out though what a deep oh gray man able to take down the stukov will he get the return kill oh the no! hook back in oh, pro, destroys baby. the gray main jana a little low too she can't do too much here and it looks like it's just going to be a one for one going even Top lane though, Arthas getting a lot of value with that camp, but was actually able to take down the fort. Well, Artanis just had to waste his time dealing with it, so that was definitely a great trade in the end by uh, Virtual Murky Slayers no, there. No getting a one for one and a one for one. Jada. Jada. Well, the killer, they're not able to take it down. Cassie goes he in. is getting ball lightning plus purifier, not able to get taken down in the back lane. They're oh, leaving it. What is he leaving? Wow. Uh, Brewer 2, gonna take some return damage. I think he should be able to get out of here just fine. And it looks like it's gonna be a 2 for 0 on uh, the side of... Actually, will it end? It might not be over just yet. Yeah, Artanis getting taken down. But the Jaina 
And White May, let's see if anything else is able to continue here. A lot it of people know White May doesn't have too much HP left. Anubarak going down to 1 HP from the Cassia. Hook on to Jada. She does have Ice, ice Block. block. Anubarak going in and saving her here. What a Great jump there. coming in at the perfect Swag point. Will save him. He doesn't get shoved away. Will they be able to do anything else here? Anubarak's pretty low. Stitch is trying to get off the final hits. He's not able to do it. He is able to heal up, though. Stukov's a bit low. I'm not sure how much peel they have for him here. Uh, uh, Stitches does get taken down. It looks like a new rack will be able to run out of there just fine. The fighting never stops with these teams, does it? <laughs> no kidding. And just as I spent the entirety of the first half of this game praising Tickle Me Tassadar, the virtual Murky Slayers have just entirely turned it around here. Their team fighting all of a sudden has really gotten on point. They seem to have pinpointed their weakness and have been able to really focus in on each individual target and make something of it. And that's consequentially gotten them a whole level ahead. Now they're yeah, looking at a talent tier advantage while the Immortal's up. This is really what do you impressive. Think, what do you think Tickle Me Tassar needs to be doing to win these fights? Mm, I'd say a lot of it comes down to just barely missing execution and a little bit of Lee Ming's positioning here. She's been able to yeah. get killed. Oh, it looks like Arth so or Artanis getting hit on the side here. We'll be able to escape. He is able to get the Jada into the middle of the team, but there's not many people to follow up. Purifier beam on nice Jada. Artanis going low. He does end up falling. Will Stukov be the next one? It looks like he is going to be. Stitches taken out with the web wrap here for a moment. Uh, he is going to come back. Will they be able to kill him when he reses or comes out of it? They're doing a lot of damage. A lot of CC. Cassia coming in too. She's trying to go on to the white main. I don't think she's going to be able to do too much here. There's just too many people in the area, and she is going to fall. So, Ooh, four man. for one fight in favor of Virtual Murky Slayers there. Definitely looks like with that fight, they're going to be able to win their first Immortal, or at least I would expect that they would win this first Immortal here. I mean, that being said, even though they've lost the previous Immortals, they're still the first to a fort, but with 18 advantage on 16, a likely first Immortal play here. That fight has set them up to get a first keep advantage and actually swing this entire game from a losing situation into a tremendously advantageous one, and they might be able to close the game out from that point. But don't count your chickens before they hatch. Let's see what happens here. So it looks like they're both going to go on the burn, and they are going to get this immortal, as we said. So it's going to head bot, and we'll see how much they're able to get from this. Good play on uh, Tickle Me Tassar, though, getting this camp and getting some counter pressure before it starts. With a setup like this, MDP, who do you think has the best chance to take the game from here? You think one team already has this in the bag, or is there another good set of team fights on the way? Oh, we're already starting again right here. Anubarak going out of Lee Ming, getting him pretty low. Gray Man able Whoa. to finish her off immediately. Stukov on the bottom gets hit by the Ring of Frost. Cassie on the side also getting destroyed. So many people going down at once from every direction. Artan is going to be able to come up out of the web. I don't In think there's anything else. Too much to be able to do. And Stitch is going to be the lone defender here versus this Immortal. Do you think they can finish the game here, or is this just going to be a keep? End up going down. Definitely looks like it should be game. I'd be very surprised if they backed off from this position. Yeah, now they've just yeah they're the going for it. Took no damage. They're going for it. One second up, here comes Lee Ming. Stukov is close behind, but I really don't think they can win it here without pulling off something absolutely amazing. Forty percent, yep, thirty down to 20, 20, 10. 10. It's over. Yeah. Virtual and Murky Vir Slayers take that one. Yep, Virtual Murky Slayers taking game one with a pretty decisive victory at the end there. It was pretty even up until about 10 or 12, but after that, they were just so dominant. It does look like uh, Leeming was gone from the game. Yeah, she was gone life, for though. the second half of the game, which might explain her interesting choices in positioning. But we'll be back momentarily with game number two.